not doing it as nicely now. But it's like weirdly Because it has like a rabbit side. It feels like sturdy. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to my office. I wanna make a video today, it's like a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chill, and just show you guys sort of like what I've been doing throughout the day and what I'm working on and things like that. So right now it's Wednesday, it's nine o'clock, and I'm gonna start work for my nine to five shortly, but I've been getting up really early for the last like three weeks, which I've, I've really enjoyed. And so every single time I've been getting up in the morning, I've just been working on YouTube stuff and scripting and things related to my channel, which has been a lot of fun. I've been super excited to do it. And I think taking a week off and going to Europe a few weeks ago was really helpful for me. So let's show it into my script stuff now, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so the next thing I typically be doing in the morning after I get a little bit of work done and finish coffee is I go for a walk around my neighborhood, which has been really nice. I feel like before I went to Europe, I was having so much trouble waking up, but ever since I've sort of forced myself to get up early since coming back and going for a walk in the morning, I feel like by the time 9, 9.30 rolls around at night, I'm like already in bed reading and basically asleep by 10. So let's go on a walk now. And then once we come back from the walk, we'll probably make some breakfast and then get started with actual work. All right, so now it's 10 o'clock. I just finished my walk and had my breakfast and I'm now about to start my work for the day or like my nine to five work, I guess I should say. It's so funny because over the last week or so, I've just been so stuck on trying to get these integration tests up and running and working and passing. And it's been so frustrating. I can't even tell you guys, like it's made me want to tear my hair up every day. And so unfortunately it's made me feel less excited to go to work each day just because of how stuck I am. I feel like if you guys are engineers too, you guys probably know that feeling where you're just facing a problem and it feels like you cannot get past it. I guess I have made like significant progress. Like the test can actually spin up the entire stack that it needs to for all the different servers that are involved, which are a lot of servers and run, but it fails. And I'm running into this really strange problem where I can run the test locally. I should say the test fails locally. So even though it's not giving me the desired result, at least it's entire server stack is spinning up and running and then the test fails. But when I run the test on our distributed build system, it just totally errors out and goes haywire and I cannot seem to figure out why. So I just feel like, oh, I have to go and figure out this problem again or try and figure out this problem again today. But I am making progress slowly. It just, it feels a little bit frustrating as I'm sure you guys are all well aware if you've been in that situation before. And if you're engineers, I'm sure you have. Also, the other thing I forgot is I tend to drink like one of these juvies after I drink a coffee. I don't know, I just really like them. So I want to say shout out to Chow. You can use code Chow, C-H-A-U for 10% off. I really love them. I feel like they're just really good. So if you guys want to try a new kind of energy drink, give it a shot. I highly recommend. All right, debugging is always so tiring, but I actually think I made a lot of progress right there. I figured out the first issue I was running into, so there were no real helpful logs when the test was running, but I was able to figure out from some other problems that similar people had run into that one of the servers didn't have enough space or memory to start up. So once I ran that on a different build system, everything started working. Uh, I then ran into a problem where I'm dealing with a queue that I in queue a message to, and the queue receiver was not pulling a message from that queue. So I figured out that the queue receiver and the queue handler were not wired together correctly. So I wired those together correctly. And now I'm running into authorization problem, which I also think I fixed. Uh, and now I think it's more of just a race condition problem where the test is expecting an alert to have been created for a user, but the alert isn't created because I think there's just a timing issue where the queue receiver is pulling from the queue. And while that happens, my test 
then checks if there's no messages in the queue. If there's no messages in the queue, we then check the assertions. And while the processing is happening in the queue handler, that you know RPC or request hasn't been made. So therefore the assertion fails. I guess that's a long-winded way of saying, I think I'm slowly making progress, which is really good because I think I'm getting close to nearing the end of this annoying, frustrating experience over the last two weeks or so. So hopefully that's true. I just finished my meeting. It was a long meeting. It was like an hour and a half long, but it was really good. It was good to get updates on what the whole is doing and questions that people had and things like that. So it was really helpful. I had lunch during that meeting as well because I was sort of like overlapping with my lunch. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but are really bad about eating lunch. Uh, a lot of times they'll forget or just do something really fast and then go back to work or, you know, whatever it was that I was doing. So I'm pretty bad about eating lunch, especially during the work week. Uh, the other thing I typically do in the middle of the day, I guess if it's not eating lunch, is I go to the gym. And I think going to the gym and the middle of the day is a nice way to break up like the beginning of the work day in the second half of the work day. So I'm gonna go run to the gym quick before we meeting at 3.30. All right, so I'm back from the gym and I'm actually gonna get a dinner with one of my buddies at five o'clock. So it's sort of an early dinner. We're gonna go to an omakase dinner, which should be really fun. Before I go, I really wanna water these three different plants I have. This one's the newest. I think I've had this for a few months, but this one and this one I think I've had for like a little over a year now, but this guy is not doing too great, which is kind of sad. So I really wanna water them and hopefully they'll be fine, but I'm not really sure, we'll see. This plant looks so sad. It's terrible. It's like so lopsided. <laughs> Okay, right, now that all the plants are watered, I'm going to go to the Omakase dinner. A little early today to go to this dinner, which is actually one of the things that I've loved about being quasi or semi-remote, I guess, because my entire team is in California and I work out of New York. So I think it's a trade-off, but it's really nice because if I want to, I can wake up earlier, although I've been waking up early anyways, and then I can also sort of end earlier or just have more flexibility with my work schedule because, you know, not everyone's in the same office, uh, which has just been kind of nice. So yeah, I'll probably go to that dinner now. I'm going to walk there because it's like actually 60, or 65 degrees in New York today, which is super nice. Um, so I'll take like a 30 minute walk there, pick up my friend on the way, have the dinner, and I'll probably come back and at least see if, you know, stepping away from the problem gives me any more ideas to solving it. And I definitely am closer. I ran into some memory issues this afternoon again, but uh, ended up fixing it. And I'm hoping that by the time I come back, I'll have some more ideas for what to do. But we're definitely getting closer, which is a good thing. So I'll see you guys after the dinner. Okay, so I'm back from the Omakase there with Jahan. You guys will probably see a little bit of the footage that I was able to take during the dinner, but it was really, really good. If you guys aren't aware of what Omakase is, it basically, I think, roughly translates to I'll leave it up to you and the chef basically just decides on everything that you get. And everything we had was so, so good. I really, really loved it. And I'm very happy that I went. Kind of was just spur of the moment. Jahan texted me and said, do you want to go to Omakase today? And I said, sure. So I'm very happy that I did. Now that I'm back in the apartment, uh, Jahan is actually in my office hanging out and playing some games with my roommate Dory. I'm going to sit on the couch for a second, just see if I can dive into the error message that was stuck on earlier and see if I can make any more progress. So what we generally want to do is keep our health Whoa. as high as possible, keep our money above 50, but also get stronger and stronger units to put down. What were those fur things? Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't really make more uh, progress with the area that we're stuck on right now. But overall, I feel like it was a pretty good day. I feel like I kind of hit different walls, but at the same time I was able to move past a few of the different problems we ran into, right? At the beginning of the day, I was running into out of memory problems, got past that, fixed that problem, hit another error that was related to like the queue receiver not being hooked up in the integration test, got past that, ran into an authorization problem, got past that. And now we're kind of full circle back to the different out of memory errors. So I'm hoping that sleeping on it and sort of starting the day fresh tomorrow I'll have a new perspective or I'll come up with some idea or I'll just be able to make more progress like I was able to do today but now I think I'm going to kind of just kick it and relax Johanna is still over and he's still playing games with my roommate Dory so I'll probably just join them and you guys see some footage from that but I feel like this is really fun to make and I hope that you guys enjoy this too please let me know in the comments if you do or don't I feel like making content like this it's pretty fun and it's just more realistic I think it's less planning it's more just me talking on camera say what I'm doing what I'm thinking which I think is more fun I think it's more authentic and I think it's also just like more what my day typically is like which i think is nice so let me know if you guys enjoy this is a spot to watch or not and you know 
kind of go from there and maybe make more of these or not, but or I'm just, you know, living my life and being an engineer in New York. And I hope that you can do it. Hold E to create a soul link and save your game. Okay, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dory. Dory getting wrecked by the ram. <laughs>